uh, when I moved here in 1990, uh, I knew that Judy Johnson had lived in the area, but I did not know where. And um, when I was involved in the Marshalls and Civic Association back in the early 90s, um, and I moved here just after Judy passed away, so he did live here for 55 years. Um, the money he made playing Negro League baseball helped support this house, and that's a that's a uh, that's a big thing, you know. And I guess with the history, the his local history, and 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 baseball, and and Major League Hall of Fame, you kind of get like, wow, you know, somebody's actually in the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame that lives in my community, right around the corner from where I live. And the more you looked into his past and and his statistics and the people that he played ball with. It was a no-brainer that, that it, it should be on the National Register. People know this house in the community. You know, they, they, they know that this house is here. Uh, we've heard questions in the past. What's going on with the Judy Johnson house? Nobody's living there. Or it's boarded up, this, that, and the other thing. And you don't have answers. So now it's vacant again. We're just trying to get out the information. That's all. And uh, that it's vacant. And maybe somebody can do something with it. It'd be nice to see somebody buy it. Uh, it'd be perfect for a small museum, uh, you know, for Judy, uh, office, or it'd be nice for somebody's home who just appreciates it for what it is. I just want to create awareness for it, you know. I, that, that's all. I, I, I'm not looking for, or this is, this is just me saying this house needs somebody here with it to take care of it, and uh, it'd be great if that could happen. That's all.